Hi, I'm George from Yonaka and we're playing the Kentish Town Forum tonight on our London headline show. Uh, the amp I'm using tonight is a lovely blues breaker. I haven't had it too long, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of kit and can really, really break it up, push the pedals through it, and it just gives a really warm sound. And it's, it's something this band really, really needs. It reacts to my pedals beautifully, the tone of it, it's just, it's got, again, it's got that sense of warmth that I've not really had from other amps. It's always been a bit, it like every other amp I play for kind of plateaus in the way that I want it to get to, like bass wise, especially bass wise actually, because most of my effects are quite trebly. So it's like a big old hug of fuzz when I, when I probably get stuff through it. It's like, it's a really good bed of sound to work through. So I have the bass all the way up to 10, so that way I can counteract it with my pedals that are quite trebly. And then they meet in the middle and they synergize really well. Middle, I used to detest middle, but now I've, I've come around to it since. So middle's on about five and treble's only about two. Volume wise, this amp is a very powerful little unit. <laughs> so at the moment we're on a two. But that's so, I've got the, the pedals driven a little bit more so it breaks up, but we wait till we play arenas to do, maybe go to, then we'll go to four, eh? something like that. But yeah, really impressed with this amp. So starters, we've got El Classico chromatic tuner here, which is, you know, keeps me safe and sound. Then um, going to this mic synth pedal, which I bought because Omar Rodriguez Lopez had one and I use it as a drive. Initially, I didn't know what I was going to use it for, but then I use it now predominantly as a noise gate because when I feed into my fuzzes through the blues breaker, because you know, that's so, so leery and nice that it kind of just so, uh, I don't give our sound engineer a heart attack. Then that goes into this Green Rhino Overdrive Mark IV, which I stole the idea off of Dean from Frank Hyde and the Rattlesnakes actually, because he had one when we toured him ages ago and I was, he always had it on and it sounded like, he'd get these two cream blues breakers actually and they, I was like, that's, that's what I want, I want that rig. And so I nicked the idea off him, but I use this as more of a, use this as an actual overdrive. Whereas the plumes pedal from the Earthquake devices, that's, that's what I have always on. That breaks up the amp really nicely, pushes it a bit more so I don't have to turn up the amp too high and you know, give everyone a hard time on stage. I've just got these new pedals actually from Maestro Electronics and um, this fuzz is just excellent. And uh, I've got this lovely chorus which works really well for our new sounding tracks. Then um, going to the Strymon Timeline, I still don't know a lot about this pedal. It's like the ocean floor. I've probably discovered about 5% of it and I've had it about seven years. So I use it for the reverb settings and the delays. And this is actually one of the first pedals I ever bought. I use this as like, um, when I hit a chord, it makes it sound like there's two guitars on the go, you know? And um, yeah, that's my pedal board. Marshall to me, what it means to me anyway, like when I was growing up was, it's just without being too cheese on toast about it, it's iconic, isn't it? I mean, you, 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 ask, you ask a punter that's just into house music or something like that, and they'll say, oh, so was he playing a Les Paul through like a Marshall or something like that? And like, all, of, all of my favorite bands used to use Marshall. And lovely friend Joel, let me, let me, try, let me try an amp one time, and ever since I've been sold. And uh, I don't think I'll be going back any time soon.